Could an AI chatbot really be your go-to for mental health guidance? It's a question that's been echoing more and more in our tech-driven world. In the face of growing mental health challenges, the popularity of artificial intelligence chatbots as a source of guidance is on the rise, especially in regions where cultural stigma and limited resources can make it tough to seek professional help. Take Malaysia, for instance. Here, many individuals are turning to chatbot platforms like ChatGPT, seeking solace, understanding, and advice. But can these AI buddies genuinely offer the nuanced support and guidance that mental health requires? Consider the case of a woman who, with the help of ChatGPT, ended up misdiagnosing her sleep issues as insomnia. It's a stark reminder of the potential for misinformation and misdiagnosis that can occur when relying on AI for mental health guidance. After all, mental health is complex, it's multifaceted, it's deeply personal, and it's shaped by a myriad of factors that a chatbot may not fully grasp. Chatbots, while impressive in their ability to mimic human conversation, lack the professional expertise that mental health care demands. They can't pick up on subtle cues, respond to complex emotions, or provide the tailored, empathetic care that a human professional can. Moreover, the lack of regulation around these chatbots poses another significant risk. Without proper oversight, they can inadvertently spread misinformation or provide inadequate guidance, leading to more harm than good. So, while chatbots may indeed increase accessibility to mental health knowledge, especially in regions where traditional help is hard to come by, they are not without their risks. It's crucial to remember that they should not replace professional help. Instead, they can serve as a stepping stone, a way to break the ice and start important conversations about mental health. But at the end of the day, nothing can replace the expertise and compassion of a human professional. While chatbots can increase accessibility to mental health knowledge, they are not without their risks. So, what happens when we replace human expertise with artificial intelligence? That's a question raised by psychologist Dr. Adnan Omar, who has voiced concerns about the potential dangers of relying solely on chatbots for mental health guidance. You see, mental health is a complex and nuanced field. It deals with the intricate workings of the human mind and emotions, which are often far too complex for a chatbot to completely comprehend. A chatbot may not pick up on subtle cues in conversation or the context behind a user's responses, potentially leading to a misinterpretation of their condition. For instance, a woman might express she's having trouble sleeping, and a chatbot might quickly label it as insomnia, overlooking other crucial aspects of her condition. Additionally, the regulation of these chatbots is currently inadequate. Without proper oversight, misinformation can easily be spread, and incorrect advice can be given, leading to further complications in an individual's mental health journey. And while these chatbots may offer a sense of anonymity and accessibility, they can also create a false sense of security. Users may feel they are receiving adequate care, when in reality, they might be at risk of misdiagnosis and inappropriate treatment. So, while chatbots can undeniably offer valuable support and can be a stepping stone towards seeking help, they are not a one-stop solution for mental health issues. The complexity of mental health requires the careful assessment and nuanced understanding that only a trained professional can provide. Chatbots may be convenient, but they cannot replace the careful assessment and treatment offered by a professional. If chatbots aren't the answer, then what is? Let's turn to the insights of psychologist Dr. Adnan Omar, who speaks passionately about the importance of continued education, literacy, and support systems in the mental health care sector. In a world where mental health is increasingly recognized as a crucial aspect of overall well-being, it's essential that we amplify our efforts to make mental health care more accessible. And this isn't just about physical access to clinics and therapists, it's also about making sure people have the right information and understanding to seek out help when they need it. Dr. Adnan emphasizes the need for literacy in mental health. This means not just understanding what depression, anxiety, or bipolar disorder is, but also knowing how to navigate the complex pathways of mental health care. But literacy and education are only one piece of the puzzle. Support systems are another key component. These can take many forms, from family and friends to professional networks and community resources. These systems can provide the emotional and practical support that individuals need when facing mental health challenges. Lastly, we can't overlook the critical role of professional services. Mental health is complex and multifaceted, it requires the nuanced understanding and expertise of trained professionals to diagnose and treat. While chatbots might offer some help in terms of accessibility, 
they can't replace the human touch, the empathy, and the deep understanding that professionals bring to the table. In the pursuit of better mental health care, it's clear that professional expertise is irreplaceable. The conversation on mental health care is far from over. While chatbots offer accessibility, nothing beats professional expertise. Let's prioritize education and support systems over shortcuts. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates on mental health at Glee Glow Junction. We're dedicated to keeping you informed and empowered. Take care and remember, together we can build a supportive and resilient community. Stay tuned for the next Glee Glow Junction.